how to resize a Canva document in the free account. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator Beat and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online, KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So a few videos ago, I actually showed you how to import a PDF document into Canva. It's one of the new beta testing things that they've got going, which is great because it allows us to actually import a PDF document straight into Canva and we can start editing it. If you want to check that video out, it'll be in the top right hand corner and it'll also be down in the description. So I had a question that came up with that because I simply clicked resize picture because I have a pro account but you can't resize a picture in the free account nor can you actually make folders and put things in where you can create folders you just can't put anything in them in the free account so what I want to do is actually go and show you what I'm talking about so first and foremost I went to uh, KDP to get a paperback cover template and that's the reason why I wanted to make sure it was the right size. So I've actually downloaded a template here and this is the PNG file of it and the reason why I've done that is because I actually want to check the size and I'm going to use a calculator to do that. So if you are on a Mac and you want to find a calculator you just search for calculator using the spotlight search and if you are in a windows down at the bottom on your where your windows thing is you can type in calculator and it should bring you a calculator up so what you need to know is that you're going to add those two together or times that by two so that you're getting the eight and a half for that which is that part of the cover and eight and a half for that. So both the left and the right. You also need to add in bleed for each side, which is 0 0.125. And then you also need to add in the spine. Now the spine width actually changes with how thick the book is going to be. So every time you do a different size book, it will change. It also changes with the type of paper you're going to use. So if you're going to use cream paper, it changes. If you're going to use their new premium paper, it changes as well. So that is why you need to do this when you are creating new books with new sizes. So let's work this out so we actually know what it is. So 8.5 and I can just times that by 2 and we get the two sides added together. Then I'm going to plus 0.125 and that's for one bleed side plus 0.125 and that's for the other bleed side. And now we need to add in our spine. So plus 2.7 and that gives us 17 0.52. Now if I go back to Canva, what I can do is I can now actually create a design and instead of going custom size, I can actually import a PDF. And when we download our Amazon Kindle uh, template, we get both a PNG and a PDF. Now the PNG is too big for Canva and I have created a video previously showing you how you can actually reduce it by creating changing it to a JPEG but it's now a lot easier to just put the PDF there and then it uploads and it actually creates the design for us so if we go in here what we can actually see if we go to resize and change this to inches it actually gives it us and it's nearly there it's nearly there but this might be the issue why when some people upload to KDP and they say they've used Canva and we all go well did you create check that it was inches it might be because it's just missing those few now if you are on a free account you cannot actually in fact that's changed to 16 but you cannot change that at all on a free account it says you've got to use the pro account or do it for 30 days so what you can do is you can leave that open go back here and create a design and then go custom size and i've already put this in 17.52 that's what we know we need for 
the cover but for the height we need 11 and then we're added 0.125 for the bottom bleed and 0.125 for the top bleed and that gave us 11.25 and again make sure that that is in inches then I've gone create new design and I've actually got the right size but I still want that template so how do I actually get that now on a pro version you can actually save it and put it in a folder and then drag it across and it would save everything but on the free version the only way you can do it is either drag all this around it and then copy and paste or you can do Control a or command a depending on what um, operating system you're using and then copy it so either right click and copy or command c or control c to copy and you can also group everything together as well so we can copy that across i'm going to go to that and i'm going to paste and it's brought everything across but it's not quite in the right place so i'm just going to move that into the middle and i'm not going to adjust any of these here because what i basically want to do is i want to see where everything's lined up and that is how you can resize it to help you so we know that any text we need needs to be inside this box and yes we can have lines and images going out because that's the whole point of bleed it out it actually just cuts cuts it off for us but all the main things that we want needs to be inside here and the text also needs to be inside if you're going to be doing your spine text on there and same with here everything needs to be kept inside here and you don't want anything covering up your barcode because it will be covered up by the barcode so that is how you do that so I hope that, that this will help you get the right size if you're using Canva and you're using the import PDF method of doing it. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll also put a link so that you can see the other video that I use created showing you how I actually took a PDF template and changed it, made it unique and then uploaded it to KDP and that has now come through review and it was absolutely fine so just got to start promoting it and get those sales so you can check that video out as well and I've also created a video out on how to actually create an undated planner in Canva.